stack the chairs and they take lifeguard stands, lifeguard chairs. Yeah. And like companies and like businesses and organizations and groups and stuff like that. Right? Yep. That's who does it. And they, they get to one, like, yeah they get to decorate it. They sponsor a chair and they get to decorate it. And um, does it raise money for something? Yeah, I'm sure it does. Look, there's a motorcycle. There's a motorcycle one. You gotta do vroom vroom. vroom, vroom. <laughs> so yeah. So this is Adam Mac Harley Davidson. <laughs> It's so fitting. I sat on your bike, Adam Mac. What you gonna do about it? A and P. Priscilla, there's somebody down there behind you. Oh. It's so awkward. It's so who, weird, right? Who designed this statue? Like? Excuse me, lady. It's a little chilly out for for your attire. <laughs> Abby, look. Go get on the surfboard. Go get on it. Come on. Yeah. I'll go stand on the surfboard. You know how to surf. Jump up there. Up. 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 Good job. Look at you. Okay. All right, get away from there, Abby. I don't want that weird guy looking at you. What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. I, I never did the intro. Oh. I never did the intro before we went and looked at Christmas lights. Um, yeah, so we went and looked at Christmas lights. That was a lot of fun, you already saw that. But uh, this is the intro to the vlog. I'm new at this, I'm sorry, I'm new. I'm new here. You already saw that. You're gonna have to put this at the beginning. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna put it at the beginning and pretend like we're, get, we're getting ready to go see Christmas lights. No, nope, it's 11.30 at night, it's we're great. home. We're home. This is a real vlog. Real vlog, real vlog. Uh, we'll pick it back up in the morning. Yep. Yep. All right. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's Christmas Eve. I'm so excited. <laughs> what you got going on here, Chef? Well, I'm making some turtles. They're super easy. Like you just, tasty. you just take pretzels, put rollers on top of them, bake them for three minutes, and then you shove whatever you want on the top of them. Now shove. That's you a shove it. It's a good cooking term. <laughs> Isaiah doesn't like nuts, so I do some with the M&Ms for him. And then um, everyone else doesn't seem to mind the nuts, and they're like turtles. So, I already made some Christmas crack. It's in the freezer, and I added peppermint to it. What else you got going on? Um, I'm gonna make chocolate dipped Oreos, because Oreos aren't amazing already. I need to add some chocolate. Um, I see that uh, marshmallow fluff over there. You making fudge? I'm making fudge. Funny fact, I always have to buy an extra marshmallow fluff because Isaiah and Asa get into it and start making fluffer nutter sandwiches. Hmm. What well, did you look at that? You you already got into it? What is wrong with you? I had a, a midnight fluffer nutter. Asa Moss. Okay, it was like a one in the morning fluffer nutter. I was wrapping presents and I needed some marshmallow fluff in my life. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> You are there. I had no idea. <laughs> I would have thought that I bought like a bad fluff. It's it's the best sandwich in the world, you guys. The fluffer nutter. It shouldn't even be considered a sandwich. So we're also gonna make some haystacks, which are awesome. That you make those with chow mein noodles. Um, That's weird. <laughs> it's weird, but they taste awesome. Oh, I'm making a new recipe this year. It's a cookie that I learned from the Pioneer Woman, and it's it has bacon, chocolate, and caramel corn. Wow. Yep. With the rest of my day, I'm going to make some appetizer foods. We typically do appetizers on Christmas Eve, plus today's football day, so we have to watch the Jaguars. You got your helper? I got my helper. He finally woke up. Hello. So this is like Christmas tradition for you guys, right? It is. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it for years now. Yeah, it's our Christmas tradition. Baking, I come baking in, goodies. Mm -hmm, and I eat half the ingredients. So this is that weird chow mein thing, right? Yep. It's, they're called haystacks. It's a no-bake thing. I am all about no-baking. I am not a baker. 
And this is one of Isaiah's favorites, right? It's my favorite. It's his favorite. It's so good. It's, it's weird. So I don't follow a recipe. Imagine that. <laughs> um, I just add stuff until I think it looks good. So it has chow mein noodles, which I added a whole cup or a whole can. And then peanut butter, peanuts, and butterscotch chips. That makes it really good. So you just melt the butterscotch chips? Yep. And put the peanut butter and everything all in the bowl, mix it all up. And, and then you just form little haystacks on parchment paper. Hmm. And then you just let it sit for a while and, and then eat it. Oh, you put it in the fridge. Let it chill. I just heard your second helper. I'm gonna go get her so she can help. Okay. All right, we got helper number two. What sprinkles do you want? Let's go with these ones because they got the shaker top. Can you put your head up so you can see? Hey, look, you wanna do these? Yep, okay. All right, let's do one hand. Put the other hand down here. All right, you ready? Shake, shake, shake. Good job. Let's go over here, ready? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Put your head up and look what you're doing. Oh boy, oh boy. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Yeah, <laughs> get it. Okay. All right. Thank you for helping. Good job. Well guys, I'm sorry to cut the vlog short. Um, I know it wasn't a very long one, but uh, we just got the news not too long ago that um, a friend of ours is is no longer with us. She has passed away. And uh, she was a volunteer for Service for Autism. You guys know that we're a big part of Service for Autism. We've known her for years. And, and we're saddened by it, no doubt. Um, I'm gonna go spend time with my family, the ones that I love and the ones that matter to me. Um, I hope that you're doing the same thing. And just remember that life is short. It is absolutely short. She she leaves behind two boys. And uh, that's that sucks. And I'm also sorry to end this on a on a sad note, but it would not it would not be fair for me to, you know, pretend to be joyous in in the light of this news when I know that I've got so many we have so many friends with surface for autism that are hurting right now. Um, it would not it, it would not be respectful to do that. So please understand that. I know that you guys will. Um, enjoy the time with your loved ones. And uh, yeah, we love you guys. And we hope that you have a uh, love-filled Christmas Eve. See you tomorrow.